Hi, everybody. Hi, Rick. You all know who I am by now, <laughs> except for all of you who are joining us for the first time here in Dallas. We uh, started our day in South Lake this morning at 8.30. Who was in South Lake? Who was in South Lake? Woo! Woo! Very good. Last time was wasn't in South Lake. Yes. <laughs> See? Simon says. New questions every event. <laughs> Pay attention or you'll miss it. I thought we had a really nice event there. The city of South Lake was really thrilled to have us there. Mayor Hill was there along with Council Member Archer uh, and other representatives from the city. North Central Texas Council of Government sent their air quality planner, uh, Bailey Munzer, to join us. And we learned a whole lot about um, electric cars in Tesla. Uh, we got some. If you have been, had time to be on Twitter or Facebook today, the city of South Lake um, did some really nice uh, posts um, of our event. So you can tell that they're really excited. From there, we had an awesome road trip, I thought, to Plano. We were actually able to do the speed limit and then some, which made it perfect for me. And celebrated the first urban supercharger in Texas. Woo! Woo! And Plano certainly needs it. Who was in Plano? Who was in Plano? Uh, we split up for lunch, and we got back together to make our drive down here, which was a little hair-raising. Um, part of it was because of the heavy traffic. The other part was because I was leading. <laughs> Sorry about that. Where we went by the uh, new Tesla service center Yay. in Plano, honked our horn a couple of times for them. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. So here we are at a place which is pretty special. First, it's the first supercharger in Dallas County. Um, one of which I hope there will be many, many more, um, even in the next year. I mean, the whole purpose of urban superchargers is to have them all over the place. So that people who have to charge regularly will have a place they want to go, do their shopping or dinner or whatever. And by the time they're done with that, their car is unfully charged. A little bit slower than the cross-country superchargers like South Lake has, maybe 10 minutes or so, but still pretty good. The other part here is that it's adjacent to Treehouse, and Treehouse over there is a big partner of Tesla's, and if we go over there later to look at their roof, you'll see it is covered with a massive solar array. And actually, the Treehouse is um, net positive to the grid, so they're building takes care of all of their needs, stores their excess energy in two Tesla power packs, and then their excess is fed into the grid. Um, by the way, which includes these superchargers. So these are the first solar powered superchargers in Texas. So that's pretty cool. And also our friends here at Houndstooth Coffee. Yes, thank you all who stopped there. You know, they're probably trying to figure out whether we're a good thing or not since since we're using their parking lot. So thank you all of you who um, got a coffee there. Um, we've had a long day. But we wanted it finished with a toast. And Stephen here is going to lead us <laughs> and help us round out our day. And the Tesla toast. Hi, everybody. Uh, I don't have anything prepared, but I didn't think it was appropriate to have Rick do the toast since we have to toast to Rick. Uh, and everybody else who's been involved in the North Texas Tesla Owners Group. Teresa, I know you feel overextended. Thank you for everything you do. Thomas, good job. Where's Joe at? Joe, who am I missing? Beefish is a founder. Do you have an official uh, group organ? Yeah, there you go. Uh, did I miss anybody, Rick? Oh, Craig. Yeah. Craig, who else am I missing? Yeah, Bill. Bill. Bill back there on the drone. I, I want to thank all of them for everything they've done to make uh, owning and understanding a Tesla in North Texas a better, easier, excellent thing for all of us. So thank you all. Thank you all. Cheers. But you know, no matter what we do, it's still great cheese. <laughs> So, thank you all for coming. Steve has thanked all my volunteers who actually made this happen. Thank you to our contributing uh, members who fund these events and make them possible. 
we look forward to doing um, something like this again. But for those of you who don't know us as well, we try to do something every month. Uh, various things, and it may be as simple as uh, having a couple of beers, or it may be a road trip to some awesome car museum out in some place in Texas that I can't remember. So uh, we'll keep, keep stay in touch with our newsletter, and we'll, and we'll keep you all informed. And thank members, you so much. How many members do we have now? So, um, we, contributing members, we have 120. Uh, we have 800 to 900 people who get our uh, social media and newsletter. So we have pretty good reach. When you consider that there are 2,700 Teslas in North Texas. I have my numbers from this morning. I didn't want to repeat them. All right. 2,271 Teslas in North Texas. 39 superchargers in Texas. There are 511 superchargers in the United States. There are 1,245 superchargers globally. Tesla is now opening at least one supercharger every business day. So, I mean, these aren't a big deal to Tesla because they're opening them all the time. But I got to say that every time a supercharger opens in Texas, I think it's a big deal. Yeah. 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 So, that's 9,623 supercharger stalls around the world. Yeah. So, there you go. Thank so you all very much. Oh, Fort Stockton. <laughs> Oh, definitely. <laughs> we're going to go and we're going to inaugurate the opening of I-10, the most dangerous route across the country. Thanks. All right. Oh, we're going to cut the rip. See? All right. Let's go do something else. Steve, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, everybody. Because it wouldn't be a uh, ribbon cutting unless we cut a ribbon. Here we go. One, two, three. Woo!